Hi, everybody. How are you? How are you, Sarah? I am excellent. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm really excited about this. I've never done like having my hands recorded at the same time. Yeah. As the- oh, and I wonder if I can rearrange it. So hopefully everyone can see that my project, my desk is below me and yours is below you now. That, that's right. I'm just going to move some of my crap out of the way here. I was, I was diamond painting until like <laughs> way too early in the morning last night. So, God, oh my so God. everybody, everybody really loved our last joint unboxing. So here we are with another one. Here we are. And thank you so much for hosting me on your channel. I'm very excited because today we have a new homie order. And we talked about what we were going to do because we had some paintings and stuff. And we had what we were calling doodads. And (laughs) what we decided was that we would spend our day today unboxing our doodads. (laughs) So, um, Rose, I think you're going to start with the first doodad. Yeah, I'm going to, well, uh, it's kind of a doodad because it's the sort of thing that I would never buy as a serious diamond painter. Okay. But I decided to go for cute overload today. Okay. And, uh, so that's what today is all about. It's cute overload for me. And that includes doodads because I just did my stickers on the weekend <laughs> was so much fun so the first thing I'm going to show is some more stickers because I don't think you can ever get enough of stickers and just before I get into that I think Sarah that what we need to do is ask people to please hit that subscribe button yes click for notifications so that you never miss when one of Sarah's and Martha's videos comes up so absolutely (laughs) yes So I have um, a bunch of stickers here. There's quite a few. And they are, I guess I can, (laughs) so where do I put them? I guess I can put them here. (laughs) So we've got like a, I don't know, is that an alligator or a crocodile? That is adorable. I know. (laughs) A lion. And I have no idea what that is, but it's cute. No. Yeah, go. It's the mystery animal. <laughs> oh, I think that's a cow. Although when I was living on the farm, I never saw a yellow cow before, but that's okay. <laughs> and a blue elephant. And uh, a, a loving turtle, a very <laughs> loving turtle. And an owl that looks like it's reaching for a carrot. Could that be? Could that be? I don't know. Or maybe it's a bonbon. Okay, that is that is adorable. Those are super cute. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'm, like I'll do the full review off camera for uh, and send that off to you after. Great. So, so we'll insert that right here. Yep. All yeah. right then. So uh, now that we know what the animal stickers look like, let's do a full review of them. And uh, we will check out all the details. So it comes with a standard kit, uh, just exactly what you need, and a little piece of extra plastic. And okay, so here are the sticker images, which are super cute. When I saw this, it was like, oh yeah, definitely gotta get me some of those uh, because they are adorable. And so we have eight stickers and okay, uh, those are not leaves. They are, or those are not uh, carrots. That's, those are leaves that are coming down on the alligator and he's standing in a puddle of water. And then we have the lion. He looks like a very friendly lion sitting under a palm tree. It looks like, I don't know if palm trees and lions go together. I guess they do on these stickers. And then what is that? Is that a raccoon? I think it's a raccoon. I'm going to say it's a raccoon. You tell me if you think it's something different. And then the gecko. That's absolutely adorable. Uh, And then, oh, it's not a cow. It's a giraffe. Oh, so cute. All right. I like that. 
it looks better than a cow. I, I thought that a yellow cow was just like the weirdest thing, but a yellow giraffe I can get on board with. And then the happy blue elephant and the happy turtle. I like turtles. And the owl with another leaf. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Very cute. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Uh, and just for the sake of measuring, uh, let's see. I'm just going to measure one of these across, but each sticker is two and a half inches. Yeah, about two and a half inches, maybe a little bit more. And um, so, which works out to what? That's uh, six centimeters. Another six centimeters, and this is seven centimeters. So that's about the size of the stickers, uh, in case you're wondering what you can put them on. And seriously, I'm thinking, what am I going to put them on? Maybe I'll put them on telephone posts or light standards or whatever. I won't stick them on anybody's car, because that would be nasty. Um, I mean, you know, yeah. So let's check out the drills. So we have some A, and we don't need a lot of it. It just, it's mostly like cheeks and, and so forth. But uh, that's this pink, and I just want to take a look at the drills to see. These are spire drills. So these are the regular 26 facet round drills that we would get on any diamond painting so let's take a look at the rest of these drills. Look at these colors. They're so bright and vibrant. And this is going to make these diamond painting stickers so much fun to work on. So whether you're working on them alone, which you totally have permission to do, you have my full permission, or whether you're going to be working on them with a child in your life, then... Um, yeah, the colors are just super fun and bright. And the drills look to be really good quality because they've got this crosshatch diamond on uh, diamond printed on them. And those tend to be really, really good drills. So there we go. Okay, so that is number 871, the animal stickers. Eight stickers, 13 different colors. Super, super cute. Endless fun trying to figure out where I'm gonna stick these things. All right, let's see what's next from Sarah. All right, fantastic. Thank you for that unboxing. Um, <laughs> and we will go with um, my first doodad. So my first doodad is, um, I know you've unboxed a couple of these lately, but this is my first shopping bag. So, I'm very interested to see this one. Figure out how to get it open. Oh, and we should mention too that um, for people who are shopping from New Homie, run on over to Rose's channel and check out her discount code for New Homie. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, maybe you can insert it right here. It okay. is uh, Rose. Hold on. It's a rambling rose. It's rambling rose. That's what it is. It's rambling rose and you get 15% off all your purchases at New Home. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Okay. So this one is the, is a butterfly bag. And so this is a little shopping bag. It's actually a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it'd be good for um, trips to the library. This would be perfect for that. Yeah. Um, and then it's got the 20, 2021, the year you want to forget. <laughs> well, 2020 at least is behind us, but 2021, uh, it's not oh, turning out to be a whole heck of a lot better. But it, now we have 2021, at least it's better than 2020. <laughs> that is a beautiful bag. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, oh, I'm really looking forward to seeing the detail on it and the, yeah. the drills that come with it yeah all right and we are going to insert that 
right now. All right, so let's have a look in detail at this shopping bag. So the shopping bag itself is about 30 centimeters, which is not quite a foot by 35 centimeters, which is 14 inches. So it's about 12 by 14. That should give you an idea of how big the bag is. So again, this is like not quite the size of a grocery bag that you would get at the store, those plastic ones. It's a little bit smaller, um, but it's a similar quality. So it's a little bit plasticized and nice, nicely constructed. If you want to look on the inside there. <laughs> um, so this one, honestly, this would be perfect for library books. Uh, picking them up, dropping them off, and stuff like that. So we have, this is all nicely printed, which I really like. I've, ooh, just noticed this really pretty moth that's in, created using white space. That's really nice. And then the butterfly is the part that is drilled. So it looks like a little combination of regular drills and special shape drills. And quickly, I think this is the kit that came with this bag. <laughs> I kind of got them mixed around while Rose and I were doing our video, but this one has some baggies along with the standard kit. So baggies are always appreciated. Let's have a look at these drills. Okay, so it looks like we have 10 types of drills and some of them are just standard round drills. So we have a couple of darker blues and a couple of lighter blues. There's the two lighter blues and a white. That looks, that's a, like a brown. And then we have these super pretty long seed drills. Nice aquamarine color, that's pretty. And then we have some white pearls, some deep purple cabochons, and then we have some clear with the holographic coating on them. Love them. Those are gonna be super cute. And let's just see where these go because that is something that I really like to look at. So. Um, just these special drills I want to look at. So the long aquamarine ones are in the wings. These little number eights are the pearls. And the number nine is the deep purple studs. So those are just on the outer edges of the wings. And then number 10, the clear one is just sprinkled throughout the bottom of the wing. That is gonna look really nice. And the printing is very clear. The, hmm, looks like this, just this edge here got a little bit exposed with this plastic coming back and it's not quite as sticky. So I might need to put a little bit of glue just there. But otherwise, it's gonna be good. The only thing I worry about with this is, um, when you have these special shaped drills and something that you're gonna be using a lot and putting a lot of different places, is the spaces between the drills, are they gonna collect a lot of like fuzz and whatnot? So the jury's out on whether that's gonna happen or not. Um, I think there's some sort of powder that you can put on that will take the stick away from the spaces in between. Uh, we'll see how it goes and I may need to look into that. Over here where it's been covered is nice and sticky. So I think it's just along this edge where we've lost some of the stick. So might have to grab some glue for that one. All right, back to me and Rosie Posey. All right, so I hope everyone liked that. <laughs> so since we're not 
doing things quite the way we normally do. Do you want to open number 761 next or number 763 next? Oh, let's go completely cray cray and go with 763. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Uh, and I think I need some scissors. Let's see here. So this is one of my cute overloads. And Sarah, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, this is the one that I bought and I thought Sarah's gonna love this. <laughs> So I can't wait. I know. So then when we decided we would do this video together, I thought, yeah, this has got to go in that video. <laughs> so it's just a cute square kitty. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's absolutely adorable. When I saw it, I thought, oh, I just have to get it. It's so. funny. So for like the rest of the world, um, basically every time I see a cute cat diamond painting <laughs> or paint by number, I text Rose about it. So <laughs> <laughs> I've been a lot of cat diamond paintings to my wish lists. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that one is super cute. I love his little eyes. That's adorable. Yeah. I just love the thing. And I love the fact that he's in a box or she's in a box and it's just, it's really, really cute. Yeah, it's super so. cute. And that'll be a nice quick project as well. Yeah. All yeah. right. It looks like it's like 24 by 24 drill area. So, mm -hmm. all right. So, All right. So let's have a closer look at it and we'll yeah. insert that right here. Okay. So look at this cute little guy. Now, this is done in the pixel style. So it's not new style, but because it's such a simple subject, it actually looks really, really good um, because there's nothing to it but the kitten's face and paws, essentially. So you can't go wrong, even with the pixel style. Uh, it comes with a standard toolkit. And let's just take a moment to measure it and see exactly how big this is. So what we have is it is 24 across and 24 high now i call this one happy cat because it's a happy cat and i think it's just absolutely adorable now it has 16 different colors and we'll take a look at the legend right now and yeah look how cute this guy is so uh very simple simple set just the numbers and then letters in the order that they appear in the alphabet. Uh, I don't see anything that right off the bat makes me at all concerned. And so this is very clear. Yeah, this is perfectly clear. Beautiful printing on this diamond painting. Look at those eyes. And you see, even with the pixel print, it is so simple that up close it still looks fine because it's such a simple picture like even the wetness on the tip of the tongue comes through i think this is adorable i really really like the way this rendered absolutely adorable so there you go um let's take a look at the drills now so the very first thing I notice is that they do have DMC numbers on the bags as well as on the legend for the happy cat. And there are legends on both corners of the diamond painting. So that's pretty cool. And so let's take a look at these drills up close. And I think that's really, 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 really nice. That's a pretty color. That's going to um, be part of the, the box around the cat. And it's lively and bright. So it's really going to lift this painting up. Just beautiful drills. Absolutely gorgeous, which is what I expect with the blue stripe packaging. So there we go. So I really, really like doing these videos with Sarah. Uh, it, it's a bit of a change of pace for me, and uh, you guys get to see something a little bit different, 
and I'm excited to be on Sarah's channel. And uh, so yeah, so these are uh, these are beautiful, beautiful colors. I love it. And who doesn't like cats? Who doesn't like cats? What kind of a curmudgeon would not like cats? Cats are the best. Okay, so this is number 763, Happy Cat, 24 by 24, round drills, 16 colors, and it sure makes me happy. Hope it makes you happy too. So let's see, what does Sarah have coming up next? Okay, awesome. <laughs> so now uh, we'll go with my next doodad. So my next doodad is a for also a first for me. These are all firsts for me, actually. And that is one of these little purses. I love those. Yeah, now this one, this is super cute. I'm going to get a little closer so that you can see just how cute it is. That's that, so adorable. Yeah, that is really nice. Um, <laughs> sorry, go ahead. The colors are just so bright. <laughs> the colors are awesome and I love it. So it is uh, just the one side that's decorated, which is fine. Um, so let's look at the drills close up because I need to see what exactly is going into this design. And I will insert that right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this purse. And it is super cute. I just love this color theme of the dark black and then the super vibrant colors on it. I think that always looks good. And this is, um, all crystal drills and special shape drills. There's no just regular colored drills, which I love. This is gonna be really, really sparkly. So here is the kit that I believe came with this one and it's just a standard kit. One thing that I worry about with these purses is um, you're gonna be using them a lot. You're gonna be kind of throwing them around, really putting stuff in and out they're going to be deforming a lot and how well are the drills going to stay on but Rose posted a video a while ago a couple months ago of her like wholesale abusing one of these she like literally took it and was rubbing them together and really trying to be abusive on the purse and they stayed on. So I'm hoping that this is a similar quality glue to that and that they're really gonna stick well. It does feel quite sticky, so um, hopefully it will be good for that. And I'll try not to abuse it too badly, but uh, let's just have a quick look a little closer so you can see the printing is very clear. It's very pretty. I can't wait to do this one. This one I might do really soon just because, wow, it's so pretty. And you can always use a little bag for, even if you're not using it, you're not going anywhere, you can use it to store goodies in. So like I said, the drills are all either crystal or special. So I really like that. Um, and let me just put on my reading glasses so I can have a look at the quality. Yeah, these are all really nice. No um, no big scratches or uh, super hollow drills. So lots of different colors of the crystal drills. And then we have the pearls. So these are small pearls. Deep blue cabochon. These cute little petal drills with the holographic coating that is so cute and those are going to be in these flowers and these flowers and then oh the same thing in purple that's super cute so oh that's these flowers here i don't think i've ever seen these in purple before i think that's my first time seeing them in purple uh, then we have bigger ones in orange, which are going to be, looks like the centers of the flowers. And then these really nice uh, sort of green, green holographic faceted ones. These are going to be great. 
I just love that the majority of the drills are going to be super sparklers. This is gonna look so good. I think this will be my first project that I work on from this uh, section, from this haul, um, because I just love it. It's so pretty. The more I look at it, the more I am in love with this super vibrant image. So I just, I cannot wait. All right, let's go back to our video. All right, great. So I hope you enjoyed looking at all the pieces of that one. <laughs> That's all in our future. So we are gonna be recording those close-ups afterwards. So if there's any surprises, we don't know about them yet. <laughs> You'll find out, well, sort of at the same time as we do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to open my last one, which is another cute overload. And um, I just, I, just for fun, but this, I think, would be something that would be suitable for any little kid's room or just anywhere that you need a little piece of joy. So look at this little guy. Oh. Isn't he adorable? <laughs> that's, okay. that's the little guy from Happy Feet, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. I never saw Happy Feet. I hate to admit it, but I never saw Happy Feet. <laughs> um, but I just think this guy is so adorable. And so when I saw it, it's like, absolutely. Yeah, he so. is cute. He's cute. Yeah, yeah. I think you and I are similar. We're not really big Disney watchers, but <laughs> I've seen a few that are good. Oh, so have I. I mean, I probably have more of an affinity for the later Disney, well, later stuff. I say later because it's stuff that was in the, uh, in the 90s because that's when my daughter was growing up. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I saw, oh, you know, all the movies 204 times because she would watch them every single day <laughs> and um yeah so i know all the songs from beauty and the beast and and uh the lion king and just all those ones so i know those very very well and i remember watching the the other movies you know on when disney came on at whatever 7 p.m on sunday nights and yeah. in typical tv stations so yeah I loved Beauty and the Beast. We had a cottage in Grand Bend and we had a VCR and we had about, I don't know, maybe five movies and Beauty and the Beast was one of them. So I just watched that over and over. I mean, I was probably 18 years old. <laughs> oh. oh, it's the, the famous Rose Sneeze. I think that was only, was that only two or three? Anyway, no, that was, that was a good one. That was a good one. Not, not a marathon of sneezing. Um, yeah, no, I love Grand Bend too. Yeah. For those who don't know Southwestern Ontario, Grand Bend is a beach community and uh, all the kids go there, you know, during holidays and stuff like that. And, uh, and it, it bulks up to like 10 times its regular size uh, during the summer season. And it's just a lot of fun. If you like beaches, Grand Bend is a great beach. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, so let's have a closer look at your little picture there. All right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last item that we have today, as I showed you uh, just a second ago, is um, the penguin from Happy Feet. I don't know what the penguin's name is because, as I said, I never actually saw that movie, but I've heard it's absolutely delightful. Um, so I think... This is just adorable. And I thought it was definitely part of the whole cute overload theme. And so I had to go for it. Um, and this comes with a standard kit, just like the other two that I've opened today. And it has 17 colors. Now there are no DMC numbers marked on either the legend or on the bags, uh, but that's okay. Um, this guy's cute enough that I'm going to forgive not having DMC numbers um, because, what can I say, but adorable. Um, okay, let's take a look at the canvas close up. 
So uh, it is a simple, simple set, just letters. And it looks like they took some care to make sure that uh, they're not going to be putting symbols that could be confused on colors that could be confused. So this looks very, very clear to me. And so far I'm not seeing anything that concerns me. And this is new style. And I can tell because there is black showing and different colors showing uh, behind some of these drills. So we know that that is a new style diamond painting. So we're not gonna have any harsh lines on this. All the round stuff is going to look round even close up. And curves look, look curved instead of like stairs. So yeah, no, this, uh, this is a beautiful canvas. And I'll measure it in just a minute so that we can, uh, so that we know exactly what size uh, frame to get for it, if that's what we need. I would say it's probably a 24 by 24. Oh, look at this guy. He's so adorable. I just love it. All right. It's over 24 and a half. So we're going to call that 25 and 25 and so now we're going to take a look at the drills so we need 17 colors and we have 17 colors so now this color here i know is 3756 because it's one of my favorites so definitely a blue braid palette to this diamond painting, uh, which makes sense since we're talking about penguins in the frozen south. So yeah, absolutely adorable. Love this. It's going to be fun to work on whenever the time comes. What's that? That must be 310. Yeah. There we go. So this is number 761 Penguin, 25 by 25 round drills, 17 colors. And I think it's absolutely cute overload. So let's get back to Sarah. All right. <laughs> so awesome. what do you know? I think we liked it. I think, oh yeah, I think we're going to like it too. I think we will have liked it too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the last doodad that we're going to have a look at is another first for me. And that is one of these um, lights, one of these lamps. And Rose sold me on these after looking at all of hers. So, and I wonder if this is one you already have. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have one that's blue. Okay, actually, no, it doesn't look like the ones I've seen you unbox before. So this one is very intricate with lots of tiny drills and no like big ones. So that is definitely different from the ones that you've done before. Yeah. So I hope we have some batteries here in our house. <laughs> oh, batteries. Absolutely. Got to have batteries. You'll have to steal some out of something else if you don't. <laughs> It's just so you can try it out. Why isn't the remote control working? <laughs> exactly. exactly. Well, you know, you like nice light. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's have a, a closer look at this guy now. And I will insert that footage right here. Okay. So like I said, this is the first time I've had one of these lamps and I thought this would be really nice to have, um, on my bedside or maybe in the bathroom to use as a nightlight. So the only thing that I'm concerned about is how long is the battery going to last? Um, and that well, I won't know until I try it. <laughs> so this one has a plastic backing that looks like you put this in behind now I don't remember Rose's having a plastic backing when I saw her videos but it's been a while since I watched one of those so 
I could be totally just forgetting. Um, I'm gonna poke out these holes. So it looks like there is the gut and you attach these little bulbs to the guts and then you put in this backing which kind of sits halfway through and then this on top then you just have to decide which which way which direction do you want to be up <laughs> all right so there's five little light bulbs in it it takes two AA batteries and looks like it just sits up like this on its two feet. So it doesn't sit on an angle, it just sits straight up and down. All right, so those are the technical details. The little bulbs are gonna stick out like this. If you haven't seen one of these before, if you haven't watched one of Rose's other unboxings, the bulbs just sort of stick out like that. It looks really cute. I've seen Rose's before when she went into a dark room and showed it and the, it gave off a decent amount of light. I think these are little LED bulbs, so it should be fairly bright. Okay, there's little circles of stuff everywhere from popping out those circles. <laughs> They're sticking to everything. Um, so I think this is the kit that came with it. So some baggies along with just a standard kit. So that's kind of nice. And let's get into the drills here. So there are a couple of slightly larger drills. Oh, let me work, see about that glare. Okay. So even though it's all very small drills, there's no giant ones. There are a couple of different shaped ones like this number 10 is an almond shape and it looks like um, the number four here and the number two are a little bit bigger than regular size drills and I, I do see that here in the packages. So we have 10 different, I think 10 different drills. Let me just see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is weird. There's actually nine different drills. I, I see what they've done. They didn't want to have a six and a nine, so there's only a six. That's why it kind of skips a number. So we have just regular white drills, and that's number one, and it looks like, I don't know, they're not glow in the dark, but that would be fun to actually replace those with glow in the dark drills if I have it looks like there's a lot, so I don't think I have enough extra glow in the dark drills, but that would be a fun little modification to make on this nightlight. And then number two is kind of a, it's a faceted drill. It's bigger than a regular round drill. So that's kind of different. And then we have the two different sizes of sort of, ambery orange crystal a pretty blue light blue crystal some gold studs these are also one of my not as favorite type of drill because they tend to have a lot of flash around them although oh, one fell out i got a bonus one um oh and then these ones did not survive <laughs> But these don't actually look like they have much flash around them. So these might actually be really um, nice to work with. Every other time I've had these kinds of drills, they've had a lot of flash. But I, I see maybe one or two that has flash around it. Okay, this is a super neat color. This is like a yellowy green, kind of like a toad color crystal. And then a light green crystal. And we have an almond shaped holographic coated one. So that is gonna be really nice. This is major, major diamondage. 
on this lamp. This is gonna take a long time to do. Usually these special shaped projects don't take that long to do, but this one is gonna be a serious project to work on. <laughs> All right, oh, it looks like I had a few, few stragglers, but I don't see, I don't think there's a hole in the bag. Oh, there is a hole in the bag. Oh, I see. Yeah, these bags are kind of slit, so I'm just going to cover them in some tape so nothing else falls out. But anyways, all right, back to the video. All right, wonderful. So thank you so much. Maybe we'll have just a quick look at what we looked at today. So for me, that was the uh, shopping bag slash book bag, the little um, clutch purse, and of course, this light. Yeah, I think those are all just fantastic. I, I honestly, I don't know what you're going to have the most fun with because I've done all of those at some point, not those exact ones, yeah. but all uh, types of items. And I just love them. So you might have to just carve out a day, Sarah, where <laughs> that's what you do is just do your little doodads because yeah, <laughs> they're good and find some batteries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so what I opened today is our cute little penguin. And I put everything back in the bags. Oh. But um, so here we have that cute kitten in a box, which I really don't understand it, but I think it's adorable. And sometimes you just have to not question. Exactly. Just, just, you know, just do, just do. Uh, and finally, I think the one that actually the one I'm going to have the most fun with is the stickers. I, I can't tell you how much joy I got out of doing those stickers on the weekend. So these ones here, um, you know, the oddly colored animals, I think it's going to be just great. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. And then I have to find something to stick them on. I believe yeah. that my, my laptop case is going to get, or the laptop shell that I have is going to get totally covered in the, in cute stickers. Yeah, because... it's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> or I was thinking, just take them down to the bus stop and write somebody else's day. Yeah. <laughs> good idea. Of course, then we'd have a city worker who would have to scrape them off. So yeah, probably. I don't know, put yeah. them off some telephone posts or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that might be something to do. <laughs> or on a parking sign or something like yeah. that. And it's like, make it cheery with a yeah. <laughs> paint the town with diamond painting. <laughs> now you got me thinking. I, yeah, I see a new series coming. <laughs> Absolutely. So this was super fun. This yeah, this is great. Yeah, I'd like to do it again. We are going to do it again. Okay. 100%. We're going to do it okay. again. Okay, that's great. <laughs> that's great. All right. All so right. Yeah, thank you everybody for watching. And of course, if you made it all the way to the end, this is probably going to be a really long video because we're doing six items. So um, that means you definitely need to subscribe because you liked it if you stayed all the way to the end. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't forget to subscribe and do remember to hit that like button because that's really, really important, especially as a new channel starts up. The like, the likes are so important not just to the creators yeah. you know sense of am i doing this right but uh it also helps the channel so do please help sarah's channel with yeah. uh, you know like, comments rob was talking about that actually in his video i think it was yesterday saying like for for small channels getting started we really do put a lot of work into it and to have someone put a thumbs down or to make a mean comment is like extra hard because yeah. we're not doing this for fame and fortune and glory. We're taking time out of our day to make stuff to kind of brighten up your day and have a good time. So not that I've had a problem with any sort of negativity, but I feel bad for anybody who does get negativity on their channel. Yeah, you know? it's the... 
it is the worst thing about doing YouTube is, um, you know, people who just don't appreciate um, that you're doing this to help somebody else's day be a little bit less lonely, a little bit less dark, uh, you know, to hear some happy voices. Yeah. And the fun stuff. Yeah. So, I just love hearing the happy voices and that honestly, Rose, your videos got me through the entire wow. first year of the pandemic. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, just a girl. happy voice going on and I would watch your videos and then I would just also have them playing during the day as well, which is, you know, while you're doing work, it's kind of like being in an office and having your friends nearby. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't get that anymore, right? Like even, you know, I never thought about that, but just the ambient sound of voices in the cubicles next to you or at the workstation next to you, all that is gone for, you know, office workers anyway during COVID. So, uh, so yeah, so it's, uh, it's great. And hearing new voices on YouTube, like yours and Martha's is so important because, you know, like, everybody needs a bit of a, a change and, and new favorites. So, uh, so let's hope that geared up crafting. So let's hope that geared up crafting becomes one of the new favorites. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So thank you everybody for joining and have a wonderful day. And don't forget to also, if I think most of you already are subscribed to Rose, but if you're not hop on over to her channel as well. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye, everybody.